गाइज फाइव डेज टू गो फॉर आई एन आई सी टी नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू नाउ सो दैट यू हैव दिस बैच ऑन योर एप्रन वेरी वेरी सून एंड जस्ट लाइक मी यू कैन बी अ जे आर फ्रॉम नन अदर देन द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नेशनल इंपॉर्टेंस लाइक एम्स एंड पी जी आई एंड जिपमा All right. So, what are these five most important points that you have to remember five days before I N I C T? First, what is your most important resource? Like I have always told you, your most important resource is the previous year questions. Please read the P Y Qs with explanation, as this is the most crucial point to revise the P Y Qs and the explanations. If you have made some short, concise notes. you can go through your notes if you have made a custom question bank for yourself that has the questions that you are forgetting again and again you can go through your custom question bank as well so that's the first thing what to read pyqs some important notes and the custom question bank second is what to take for the exam remember you have to take only two things you have to take yourself of course and you have to take only one identity proof that has a photograph you can take your aadhar card that's the best photo id proof because even if it gets lost you can re download it from the website and there's no problems with it okay so you take your original aadhar card and your admit card your admit card should be printed from both pages it should have the url of the website on the top and preferably in color so please take a colored print out of your admit cards you can also take a print out outside the exam hall but then they will charge you anything between 50 to 100 rupees for a single print out so don't waste that money take a print out today itself because admit cards are out okay so take that print out that's a second point so all you have to take in the exam hall is one photo identity proof which is your aadhar card and one colored print out of both pages of your admit card nothing else no pen no water no food nothing will be allowed so that's a second thing third thing what is it that you have to wear okay sometimes you know uh, we, we think it's a small thing but remember clothes are very important because you will be frizzed okay so wear very very simple clothes boys can wear a simple t-shirt or jeans if it is really cold wear a sweater girls can wear simple jeans t-shirt or kurta suit whatever you want to wear very very simple no baggy jackets no big buttons no big boots will be allowed girls your rubber bands need to be really a rubber band a band of rubber nothing else all your clips all your you know all big fancy bands will be taken up and you will hardly be able to find it after exam so please don't wear such things wear simple dress you can wear a chappal if the weather permits so wear as simple clothes as you can and please do not wear any jewelry it will not be allowed so at the last moment you will be taking out your gold nose pin or earrings or whatever no jewelry is allowed not even these religious threads please take out all the religious threads or your lockets or tawis or whatever you are wearing so no religious threads and no jewelry is allowed so that's a third point what to wear all right okay on the day of exam there's a fourth point how do you prepare yourself for the day of exam reach the center on time genuinely i request all of you please reach there by 8 am if your exam is in the same city start early and reach by 8 am if your exam center is in some other city please reach that city one day before the exam and stay around the exam center all right eat good breakfast before the exam because you have to enter the exam hall at 8 and you will be outside at 1 exam will be from 9 to 12 but after the exam also there will be a lot of biometrics and attendance and thumb impressions and iris scans lot of risking even after the exam so and during the exam also a lot of students feel i didn't eat properly now i am having you know a hypoglycemia so please eat normal good breakfast any healthy breakfast which should be little solid okay don't just have a juice or have some tea and dry nashta and come for exam no please eat some good sandwiches or paratha or dosa idli whatever is filling 
eat good solid food and read the exam with a full tummy use the washroom at least 10 minutes before the exam okay because you don't have time between the exam 45 minutes 50 questions four sections so you will not have time to waste in between exams so please use the loo 10 minutes before the exam so that you are comfortable and relaxed throughout the exam and the fifth and the very important point is INICT is an exam of calmness of mind yes hard work is very important discipline is very important but ultimately three hours 200 very very rigorous questions only that person will be able to answer who is calm in the mind don't have any anxieties any pressure just think i am going there to see where i stand do not take any undue pressures just relax tell yourselves that this is one of the exams of my life this is not the only exam of my life so have a cool mind have a calm mind all the toppers of INICT will tell you the same thing that we had a cool mind on the day of exam. So relax, use these five pointers to have this badge on your aprons very, very soon. All the very best to all of you from all the faculties of DBMCI MTS.